Previously on The Mole, the players started feeling the effects of being away from their loved ones. My wife and I haven't gone one day without speaking to each other in almost 19 years. It's been hell. Nicole is the last woman left in the game, and despite more bickering between her and Paul, kiss my ass, okay? The players experienced their most profitable mission yet. We got yeah! it! Everyone jumped at the chance for an exemption, <laughs> but ultimately threw away the opportunity. Short. Damn it! And at the execution, Alex became the mole's latest victim. Ooh. Twelve strangers, ten weeks, one winner, taking home up to a half million dollars. But one of them is being paid to deceive the others and sabotage their missions. That person is the mole. The player that figures out who the mole is and does the best job of tracking and remembering their every move wins the money. Can you figure it out? Who is the mole? Night helped because I was absolutely certain Alex wasn't the mole and he's gone. So finally, something I've been thinking is correct. Even though my first couple of suspicions have been wrong, I'm still in the game long enough to be able to tell, hopefully, who this mole is and beat a couple of these guys in the process. I think that would just be the sweetest victory of all. Nearly a month into the game, the players are still uncertain of the identity of the mole. But today's mission offers another chance to uncover the culprit. Good afternoon, players. Your bot currently stands at $251,000. I need you to divide yourselves up into two teams. Three smart players and two dumb players. I'm dumb. I'm going for dumb. When Craig picked dumb, I picked Dumb because I wanted to watch Craig to see what he might do. The three smart players, Paul, Clay, and Mark, and the two dumb players, Nicole and Craig. Yep. Today's mission is called Go Figure. Here's how it works. I'll give each team a set of clues which you must decipher. The answers to these clues lie all over the city of Mendoza. The answers will give you a series of numbers which you will enter into this computer. If all of your answers are correct, I'll put $30,000 into the pot. But it's not going to be easy. You cannot write down any of the numbers. You must remember the numbers. Dumb players, it was dumb for you to choose the dumb team because I'm giving you guys more numbers to remember. Oh. Five to be exact. Smart team, you'll only have three numbers to find. I picked the wrong side. You should know this by now. My biggest concern is that Craig and Nicole will not come back with all the numbers. This mission provides more than enough opportunity to sabotage. If you have 70 minutes, your mission begins right now. Find the plaza that commemorates the Italian influence in Argentine culture. That's in the Plaza okay. Italia across plaza. the street from oh, our you hotel. Know what? That's that way. This way. Find the plaza that was donated to the city of Mendoza by the Spanish government. Yeah, Plaza Espana, right there. Let's go. Here we go. They went that way. Let's go to square. With their first clues in hand, the dumb team heads to Plaza Italia, while the smart team makes their way to Plaza Espana. So, this is the Plaza Italia. We're dumb. <laughs> you do math, I do memorizing. All right. Kelly, the number of teats on the wolf statue. That's eight, right? Plus the number of points on the star without a face on the main statue. So, is that it? 13. All right. So, one is 13. 13. Plaza Espana, see? Okay, let's go. Here we are. Subtract the year Columbus landed in the New World, 1492, from the year that the fountain was inaugurated. 1947, oh! 1947 minus 1492, 14 minus nine is five, and seven minus two is five, it's 455. 455? I got 439. Mark and I go back and forth on what we think the number is. He might be trying to sabotage the mission. We can go on your gut, I just don't think it's right. Can you do it independent you do it of in us? Your head. Do it again. One minus one is zero, right? I'm not a math genius, but I knew that there was something up. It's 439. Oh, it is 
<laughs> if you have the numbers already, can we can we start walking to the other one while we're doing math? Clay was convinced I have the wrong number and was trying to explain why, but his math was strange. 1492, right. I'm adding eight to it to get 1500, make right. it a whole number, right. subtract from that, it's 447, and then take the eight back, 439. I'm telling you, I'm like a math genius. I'm like a math beast. Seven minus two is five. Seven minus two is yeah, five. Yeah, right about that, okay. So 455. 455. Then add the number of all the tiles on the Argentine coat of arms. So 196. Minus one ship and minus 40 is 610. This is 610, I'm telling you. Where are okay. we going now? After solving their first clue in Plaza Italia, Craig and Nicole quickly solved their second clue. 21. Okay, 13, so 21. 13, 21. Okay. And move on to their third clue in the same plaza. Add together the following. Number of slides multiplied by six, the number of seesaws multiplied by nine, and the number of swings multiplied by five. Six fifty-five. The number of sides on the merry ground. Six. So we're at 50, 56. Wait, wait. We were at 50. Plus six. Wait, where are we? I think Craig tried to mess me up because as we were keeping a tally, we came up with 55. Then he changed it to 50 and he tried to slide it in on the sneak tip. I was like, look at you. Shame. 61. And then add 28. 89. 89. Okay. 89. Okay. 13, so 21, 89. 13, 21, 89. Craig and Nicole make their way to Plaza Independencia to find their fourth clue while Clay, Mark, and Paul sprint to their next destination. Plaza St. Martin? See. And quickly solve their second clue. It's 4181. 610. Yep, it's 4181. 4181. 610, it is. 4181. Let's go. Find the renovation plaque which marks the rebuilding of Mendoza after a devastating earthquake that brought down the city. Here we go. This one's interesting. Plaque. We subtract the year the plaza was built. 1863 from the year the plaza was renovated. 1995. 132. 132. And we got to add the number of months in the Argentinian calendar. Yeah. And we can ask locals for help. How many other calendars can there be on the planet? But Craig wanted to ask. The local guy gave him the most sideways look like, um, are you on Earth? Argentina. 12. 12. 12. Gracias, señor. Gracias. Mm. 143, right? 144. Okay, 144. Okay. So 13, 21, 89, 144. 144. Uh, uh. Okay. All right, let's head back. This is a lot of counting. The dumb team returns to Plaza Italia for their last clue. Meanwhile, the smart team is only a few blocks away from their final clue. And where are we trying to go? A large green cube. We're going to 25 de Mayo and making a left. Paul has the map and he kept saying, six more blocks, five more blocks, four more blocks. It's this block, a large green cube. This is San Martin. St. Martin ain't even on here. Grande Verde uh, Square. It became apparent to me that we were completely lost. So I found two ladies and uh, read the clue to them. Ocho blocks. Eight, eight blocks. Eight blocks. Holy crap, eight. you guys, come on. Oh, we went the wrong way? Yeah. <laughs> it was unbelievable. It's completely in the opposite direction. We've blown a lot of time. I don't think we're going to make it. Eight blocks, then did it. Come on. Doggone it. Thirteen, twenty-one, eighty-nine, one, forty-four. Jazz hands. The dumb team returns to Plaza Italia for their last clue. We need to calculate the number of columns in the central area of the plaza. 628, 30, 32. Plus the number of orange ceramic pieces in the tops of the 10 little stools in the playground area. What? I'm a very tedious surgeon. However, I don't have to count each individual blood vessel. 88. 91. Nicole's counting the tiles wrong. 100. Wait, crap. 104. She's trying to mess this thing up. So I really can't trust anything she says. 36. Are you sure it was 36? 32. Plus the number of lampposts with green tops. Ah, oh, man. This is going to take all day. <laughs> there it is, Las Harris. By misreading the map, the smart team has put the entire mission in jeopardy. 
Holy crap, you guys. During this mission, Paul gets us lost. Do I think this is suspicious? Yes. Hey, green light. Green light, come it? on. Yeah, come on, come on, my ass. Slow down, how about that? I got 238. I got 228. Wait, maybe I miscalculated. Oh, right, that's a 12. Two down here. Yeah, you're right. 13, 21, 89, 144. 228. 13, 21, 89, 144. 28, 28. Are they here? They're not here yet. And both teams do have to be present for you to enter in your numbers. After sprinting across town, the smart team at last finds their final clue. 646 times four. We could start running back and just multiply it when we get back. 2584, and we got to hustle. Two minutes a block and we'll still be pushing it. We got two blocks, dude. I know, but it's 30 grand. Come on. Now I've got seven minutes left to get the numbers in there to see if you're right. 13, 21, 21 89, 89, 144, 144, 228, 228. Okay, that's ours. Smart players. 610. Keep going. Team effort. Well, it looks like you guys uh, have a little trouble here. See these two numbers that are flashing, the two and the eight? Those numbers are incorrect. Oh, man. Since it's one of the dumb team's answers, I will allow one member of that team to go recalculate the answer. You'll only have 20 minutes and one chance to enter the correct number into the computer. If you're wrong, no money will be added to the pot. So dumb team, which player would you like to send out? Just you, need you, guys, guys, you guys, you guys, go, go, go. We just let somebody who uh, planned to sabotage this game from the very beginning out to either save us or, or hurt us. So now your fate rests in the hands of Nicole. <laughs> if she comes back. You are assuming she's coming back, right? Okay, let's start here. Four, five, six, nine, seven, nine, eight. I mean, if we're going to guess, if she doesn't come back, we might as well figure out something now. Let's wait till she gets back first. You know, do you think you're off by more than two or three? We could have just missed one tile and we could have been off. It's 227, not 228. Just under five minutes. What numbers are you running over? I'm trying to break to see if there's a sequence or a pattern. I start thinking back to high school math, start trying to figure out different puzzles that I've done and see whether there's a code. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Wait, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on. The difference between 89 and uh, 144 is 55. 55 from 68 is 13. Okay. I don't know where I'm going with that. You have one minute, 20 seconds left. What's 89 plus 144? 232. 233, right? Wait, hold on, three. What is that? Wait, wait, here, here she is. is. Here she is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 227. 227. No, no, it can't no. Can't be. Nicole runs back in, says it's 227. Everybody instantly looks at her and goes, not, because we know it can't have a two in it. I went through and counted every single thing. I'm so used to being disregarded by men, it's not even funny, especially with this group of men. It's 233, just 233. Can I go, 233? 31 is three. 15, three, guys. Go, go, three, three. Yeah, 232, 233. Just go with 233. 233. Math magician! Good job. Good job. How the hell did you figure that out? We're all jumping for joy because it's almost like a, a miracle. Here you are pulling this number out of thin air. I can barely even explain how I figured it out. <laughs> it's very evident that I'm a math genius. Oh my god. Thirty thousand dollars goes into the pot. All right. Your grand total now, two hundred and eighty-one thousand dollars. I'm happy with the results of the mission. We won thirty thousand but we were right under the gun. So to me, there could have been sabotage. Let's say Paul's the mole, he got us turned around. Let's say Clay's the mole, he screwed up the math on the dates. Let's say Craig's the mole, he could have thrown the wrong numbers at Nicole. Let's say Nicole's the mole, she goes out and deliberately doesn't find the numbers. So was the mole at work? Yes, I just don't know which one. Back at the hotel, Mark secretly talks to Clay about the last quiz. I just think last night's quiz was good for us. 
because you and I know we targeted one person and yep. we're still here. I took this thing straight up 100% the way you said to take it. And go all... All Nicole. Did you go 100% Nicole? Yeah. I believe Clay and I have a solid coalition. I trust Clay because we've made it to this point in the game together. It just keeps coming back to, to Nicole or Craig yeah. every time. Do you think more Nicole? There are some little clues that point to her. I don't see any little clues that point to Craig at all. Like what, little clues? She had 20 minutes to go out there and came back with a worse answer and with less than a minute to go. That's a good point. I take the coalition with Mark and with a grain of salt because I cannot trust him. I hate to sound cold and callous, but he might very well be the mole and I cannot be comfortable around that. So the relationship is one of what I like to call mutual usury. It's gotta be a woman. Yep. Later, unbeknownst to Mark, Clay meets with Nicole. Who'd you stick with the last it's quiz? Mostly Craig. You did Craig? I did Craig too. Yeah, Mark and Craig are very uh, interesting to me. I think it's always good to have a second brain to bounce ideas off of. Now, whether or not that person is misleading you is always something in the back of your mind, but Clay's the only other black person here, so I should be able to trust my brother. So what has Mark done that's been terrible? No, oh, Mark is the gamer. And then he has cost us a lot of money. Mark has cost us a lot of money. On a sneak tip, like a people don't even realize it. I mean, I write my journal, yeah, here and there. Like, he's almost overcompensating. Nobody's that paranoid. He's always writing. To go home to winter, I need to be willing to do whatever it takes. This is a blessing, you know what I mean? Hell yeah. I have to be willing to mislead people to do it all. You can take tonight's quiz by logging on to abc.com. The next morning, the players leave Mendoza and fly to the capital city of Argentina, Buenos Aires, which is home to over 13 million people. After arriving at their hotel, the players are feeling the pressure and isolation of the game. Oh, my daughter's birthday is coming up. I left her a birthday letter on the computer. It's in the computer and told my wife if I wasn't back to print it out for her. Yeah, I did the same thing with cards and <clears throat> couldn't open on this day kind of thing. I miss my family incredibly. I'm gonna be away from my daughter's prom and my son's first couple soccer games and my other daughter's birthday. I'm miserable. Hey, my wife's birthday, his daughter, my daughter. Yeah. It's like we we couldn't have picked the best time to leave, that we huh? could. You could. The hardest part of this game for me is being away from my family. I'm losing my mind being here and being away from them. Welcome, welcome. Good to see you guys. Well, players, tonight you have a chance to add $50,000 to the pot. Nice. But there's a lot more at stake in this mission than just money. Mm -mm. Right now, I need each one of you to pick the one player that you feel you can trust the most. Mark, I will begin with you. Um, I'll say Clay. Paul? I'm going to go with Mark. Craig? I think I'd go with Clay. Clay? Who do you trust the most? I'm gonna say Nicole. I think the other players are surprised that Clay chose me because he's a part of the boys club, but still, we people. So we have two for Clay and one for Mark. Let's make it two and two then. You were picking Mark as well. Mm -hmm. Mark is not really the person I trust the most. I trust Clay the most, but I didn't want whatever the mission was for him to have to do too much. Look, I know this game's been hard on all of you, You've all been here for almost a month now without any contact with your friends or family. That is, until right now. No, don't, don't. <laughs> Paul? Yeah? As we speak, your wife Tori and your lovely little daughter Alexa are pulling into a nearby station. <laughs> get the heck out of here. Who do I got kill? I just wanted to get out of that hotel. If my family was here, I was gonna see them. Mark, your wife Brenda, also on a train, and I have to be honest with you, my man, she cannot wait to show you the progress of baby number four. Nicole, your mother Lador, she's also on her way here. Craig, your friend, Brendy, and Clay, your wife Kim. Yeah, right. They're both on trains at this very moment. And whether you add money to the pot or not, and actually get to uh, see your loved ones, well, that all depends on the player that you've decided you trust the most. Come with me because there's some people very, very eager to see all of you. I was very excited that my wife would be here. 
Come on, Mark. But at the same time, in my head, I'm thinking that this isn't going to end well. At the Los Incas train station in Buenos Aires, the players await the arrival of their friends and family, wondering how the choice of their most trusted player will figure into the mission. Craig and Clay are up first. Brandy and I have dated for a while. She is an amazing woman. I want to see her so bad right now. Today's mission is called Ticket to Ride. Now, here's how this all works. In my hand, there are 30 questions regarding Brendy. Now, Clay, you'll have three minutes to run through these questions and gather the correct answers. After the time's up, I'll ask you five of the questions and see if you can remember Craig's answers. Now, if you get three out of five questions correct, the door will open up and Brendy will get out. And I'll add $10,000 to the pot. If you do not get three correct, the train doors will not open and Brendy will head right back to the airport. No money will be added to the pot. Now keep in mind that any questions Craig doesn't answer may still be included in the questions I ask and will count as a wrong answer. Your time starts right now. What is Brindy's astrological sign? Leo. Where was Brindy born? Georgia. And how long have you known Brindy? Uh, nine months. What is Brindy's favorite movie? Oh, Two on. minutes down, one minute to go, fellas. Oh, oh, crawl. Crow. Craig's taking time, and he's not moving through as quickly as I would like. Come on, Craig, let's go. OK, who's Brendy's favorite musician or musical group? <sighs> Pass. Where did you meet Brendy? At uh, San Diego Film Festival. Five, and what's her astrological four, sign again? Three, Leo. two, and one. We were able to get through all 30 questions in the allotted three minutes, but there was a few that I just didn't know the answer to. Now, Clay must answer three of the five questions correctly. Question number one. Describe Brendy in one word. Amazing. Who is Brendy's favorite musician or musical group? Crow. Oh. Crow. What is Brendy's lifetime goal? Uh, on her own PR farm. What is Brendy's favorite color? Purple. What is Craig's funniest memory of Brendy? Going to the movies. Okay, that's all five. Thank you very much. Once again, if you get three correct out of five, the train doors will open and Brendy will be able to come out. Come on. Did you get to come off? If Clay answered three of the five questions about Brendy correctly, the train doors will open and she and Craig will be reunited. If not, the train will depart and Brendy will head back home to San Diego. When I see Brendy, it, it becomes real. Did she get to come off? We'll see. Yes, sir. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> it was really hard to stand on the train and not know if the doors were going to open. I'm really glad it turned out this way because I would have been really upset. Congratulations Thank all the way friend. around. And not only do you get to spend some quality time with Brendy, you also add $10,000 to the pot. Yeah. Clay and Nicole are up next. Nicole will be memorizing Clay's answers about his wife, Kim. You have three minutes starting now. OK, what's Kim's dream job? Uh, professor. Professor. Favorite musician? Michael Jackson. Michael Jackson. The shortcut that I use to remember the answer is to repeat the answer back to Clay. Zionist Taurus. She was born in Delaware. Eyes are brown. Favorite vacation is Antigua. I thought I was pretty good, but she was like a machine. Last time you kissed her was a month ago. Funny and time is up. Is. Question number one. Now Nicole must try to remember Clay's answers to five of the questions. If I can't do this, I would never forgive myself. Yes. Feels <laughs> oh, good to see you, man.
after all this time. It's exciting, relieved to see that he's doing okay. <laughs> At this moment, I'm still in utter amazement that my wife is here. After another happy reunion, it's Mark and Nicole's turn. Uh, what is your mother's astrological sign? Leo. When Mark starts asking me the questions, he's asking them so slowly. Where was your mother born? Grenada, Mississippi. What is your mother's favorite hobby? Antiques. I'm like, Mark, hurry up. Uh, what did you get your mother for Christmas last year? Scarf. No, purse. 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 Okay. Time is up. Now Mark must correctly answer three of the five questions about Nicole's mother. Number five, the final question. What did Nicole get her mother for Christmas last year? A scarf. Oh, no, a purse. <laughs> All right, Nicole. If Mark answered three of the five questions correctly, you and your mother will be reunited. When the train pulls off, my mom is standing there like this. And her nostrils start flaring, and I can tell she's really getting mad. Nicole and I are very close. I was terribly pleased to see her last night. Next up, Clay and Mark. What is Brenda's biggest pet peeve about you? That I'm loud. Not seeing my wife is not an option. I, I need to see her. What town did Brenda graduate high school? Westminster. Middle time is up. Okay. That's the longest we've gone ever in 19 years of marriage, not seeing each other. Question number one, what is Brenda's astrological sign? Aries. How many brothers and sisters Four. does Brenda have? What is Brenda's nickname? Doesn't have one. What would Brenda say is Mark's best quality? I completely drew a blank. Funny. The only thing I could think is, well, what do I know Mark to be? Humorous? The train approaches, I will let you know that one of the questions I did ask Clay was one that you didn't have an answer for, meaning he has to get three out of four correct. <laughs> please open, please open. Open the door. <laughs> Not up to me. Raising three kids and being pregnant with Mark not there has been fine, uh, but it's just not as fun. So I'm looking forward to him coming back. <sighs> I'm like shaking. <laughs> just being able to see her and talk to her and, you know, feel her stomach. Even though you're thousands of miles away from home, just having her there, it's just like being at home again. <laughs> with Craig, Clay, Nicole, and Mark all successfully reunited with their loved ones, Paul is the only player still waiting to see if he'll get to see his family tonight. I'm a caged animal right now. This waiting is actually killing me. Your time begins now. What is Tori's dream job? What is Tori's dream job? Uh, skip, go. Sure. Uh, what is your fo funniest memory of Tori? Um, skip it. What is her lifetime goal? Um, skip it. Paul passed on the first three. Well, if, if those three show up on his five, there's nothing I can do about it. What would Tori say is your best quality? Um, I don't know. Um, uh, I love her, I don't know. So keep it short. How many brothers and sisters does Tori have? She has one, two, three, four, five, six. Time is up, fellas. <sighs> that's, that's freaking hard. Question number one, Mark. What is Tori's dream job? He skipped it. Where was Tori born? Uh, Queens. What is Tori's favorite hobby? Alexa. Paul, please come back and join us. I jump on the back of a train, you know that, right?
these doors better open because it's gonna be a bad world for everyone involved if the doors don't open. I'm getting in that train no matter what. If I have to throw John into the window and break the window to get my family, this is what I'm gonna have to do. Open. <laughs> Me and my daughter, we do this little thing when we go in elevators. She does the open sesame and the door is open. She did it, and right on cue, those doors opened. <laughs> to be able to, to hold them was uh, the most amazing feeling. It really brings me back to why I'm here. You know, I'm here for them. Oh, thank oh, you, Mark. No worries, man. Thank you, Mark. Thank you. I'm glad I could help. I just miss them so much. It's so funny how you take a person for granted, and then when they're gone, it's just like, oh, I need them back. <laughs> how old are you? Two. Where do you live? Yonkers. Yonkers? And who's the president of the United States? Yeah, George Bush. Wow, that's pretty good. Not for long, but... <laughs> Congratulations, everybody. $50,000 added to the pot, bringing your grand total to $331,000. While money is important in this game, this mission was all about family. I think the mole has to have a heart on this. It was unthinkable that anybody could have even considered sabotaging that mission. The next day, the players spend precious time with their loved ones, bringing them up to date on everything that's happened so far. But Nicole is feeling beaten down by the game. I'm just tired. I really am. I'm just tired of all of this. The guys are going to try to find some way to isolate you. You're going to be out there on your own. I've already been isolated, Ma. I am an outsider in the worst way. Not only am I a woman, but I'm a black woman. These guys could give a damn. There's no need to insult you. You insult yourself. It's amazing. Paul goes after me. He always tries to take it a little bit too far. Being able to take it is a non-issue. Whether I want to take it is the issue. Do you? I do because I just want to kick their asses. And then I don't because do I really feel like dealing with these toxic people? You know how I feel. I don't want you unhappy. And so to me, that's that's not worth it. I have been really not happy. Well then, let's go home. Shoot, there ain't no problem. I'm at the point where I want to remove myself from this situation entirely. You know how I hate quitting things. You know how hard it is for well, me to quit. But this ain't really quitting. If you think about it, this is not your job. Yeah, it's definitely not my job. Thank you. It's a no-brainer as far as I'm concerned. And it's easy. Goodbye. Let's go home, go on with my career. I've invested eight years in. My plan is to self-execute, throw the quiz, and walk away hand in hand with my mom. A lady always knows when to leave. Before the quiz, the players enjoy a final meal with their loved ones. Good evening. Hello, everybody. I want to know from all the players, what's this been like now that you have family and loved ones here? It's a pleasant surprise. I welcome it. And I'm still focused. I might be even more focused, you know? I don't think he's the mole, but I don't know. I don't think he'd be able to hide it from me. I think I could read it in him. And what do the pirates say? <laughs> I think Paul could be the mole just because he is always a surprise. You never know what's going to happen. Hmm. Never. <laughs> I think of it in terms of the mole doesn't get 300 plus thousand dollars.